Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs, St. Paul, Miki, and companions to life, grant, we pray, that by their intercession we may hold with courage even until death to the faith that we profess. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel, and stretching forth his hands towards heaven, he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You keep your covenant of mercy with your servants who are faithful to you with their whole hearts. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord my God. And listen to the cry of supplication, which I, your servant, utter before you this day. May your eyes watch night and day over this temple, the place where you have decreed you shall be honored. May you heed the prayer which I, your servant, offer in this place. Listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people Israel, which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. The word of the Lord. Thanks How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. 
My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How How lovely lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, my dear God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, my dear God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. O God, behold our shield, and look upon the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees, with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many others, other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written? This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well have you set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition? For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father and mother shall die. Yet you say, If someone says to father or mother, Any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his father and mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Paul Miki and his companions. Most of Paul and all, most of his companions were Jesuits who were martyred in Japan for spreading the faith. They not only spoke it, but they lived it, and consequently it uh, determined for them martyrdom. In keeping with the saints that we celebrate today and looking at the Gospel, the Pharisees question Jesus, and they really don't question him about something he has said, or they don't question him about the law or the commandments. They question him about what his disciples are doing and how they are living. And Jesus, in return, goes back to them and says to them, You have many traditions, and those traditions are primary in your life. The commandments of God are not. And he challenges them that you need to make the commandments and laws of God primary and not human tradition or customs. I think as we look at the martyrs we celebrate today, they did exactly what Jesus asked. 
they made God and his laws primary and forgot about human traditions. I think many times in our lives we want to do what we want and what we think is best and follow our traditions, and consequently, they are not of God. We put our human customs and traditions first over the commandments of God. Let us pray today in this Eucharist that we may have the grace and the determination to place God's laws primary, and human traditions flow from those laws of God himself. Let us pray. For our Holy Father Francis, may God bless him with wisdom and clarity to lead the church with holiness and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Lord inspire them to live with integrity and work for justice. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from chronic illness, may God in his mercy help them to persevere and may he grant healing in his time. Let us pray to the Lord. For God's people gathered here, may the Lord fill us with joy and so draw others to join our family of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died, may Jesus show them the splendor of his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, graciously hear and answer these prayers in your wisdom. We make them in the name of your Son, Jesus, who is our Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. We pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of your holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant them firm resolve. And in their, in their stout struggle, <clears throat> the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. 
Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. See how rich in the saints' reward from God, they died for Christ and will live forever. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you and we humbly pray. Thank you, Lord.